Hey guys, Nino again. Listen, if you saw my last video right before this one, which is my more accurate saturation mask making, it's using the HSB HSL filter, but in smarter ways by sending chroma data to it. But I also want to show an alternative version, which is just using an adjustment layer. This is nothing, something I came up with, but um, I wanted to add it to that video and I forgot to. So I'm going to make it its own video. Why not? Just showing you again more, more options. This function, um, among many others, is going to be in the upcoming action set from NBP, which has everything to do with color control and selections and everything else. But let me show you, it's real simple. Okay, go to selective color adjustment layer. Okay, first things you want to make sure of is that there's two options in the bottom, relative and absolute. You want to be on absolute. Okay, and here's what we do. You can really go in any order, but we have to treat whites, neutrals and blacks differently than the colors. So let's go to blacks, go to pure on the black slider go all the way 100% up brightness neutral 100% up white 100% up but now we take the colors and 100% down each one magentas blues cyans greens and you can see the the trend here okay <laughs> and there we go now that's a saturation mask and it's a really accurate one again i didn't come up with this but it's another way to do it so obviously setting up an action makes more sense to this and like i said we have actions coming up um, that will have this kind of function and others if you want to use a, uh, a layer. Now, sometimes there's a benefit in using a layer like this and being able to tweak it. All right. You know, you can come in and, and go to the neutrals and you can make minor changes, especially if you have desaturation on top. So then um, this is not particularly accurate, but I'm going to put desaturation on top and then you can make minor changes to your saturation mask, but that requires a little bit more understanding of what you're trying to accomplish with a saturation mask. Great for utility functions not so much for creative exploration. So again, this is just a quick way to actually make one. All right, so it's really, really simple. Again, this action will be included. Now, what's interesting is that if you take this and were to add an invert adjustment layer on top, now you have the opposite of it. And a lot of people call this a vibrance mask. Okay, it's usable in lots of cool ways, okay? But regardless, while you're, I'm gonna throw out the invert. While you're here at any moment, Option Command or Alt Control 2, and you select the luminance of what you're seeing right now the luminance of the rgb channel you can also let me deselect you can go to the channels palette on the rgb channel itself hold down control or command and click the thumbnail and you select the luminance that's the exact same process at that point you have the selection now so you can come to let's go to hue and saturation and we don't need that selective color layer we can turn it off or delete it and now we can of course modify just the saturated areas if we wanted to do that, see that? So that's just another way of making a saturation mask using selective color. Um, and again, look for that function amongst many others in an upcoming NBP action set, which should be due here pretty soon. Anyway, any questions, of course, send me an email or leave a comment below.